Sawiti featuring her H E R with a song called Closer. C B T guitar lesson for Andre. Andre, the tuning for this is standard. It's obviously um, with this style of song. It's not guitar dominant. There's pockets of guitar and they're kind of like loops, okay? No, this is percussive, funky. And what's important about this, obviously the clarity of chords, which is only two of them, but they're really cool chords. Um, but it's the feel of this being right in the pocket. So standard tuning, section 1A, 11, 11 seconds in. And, and what we have... Um, the B flat minor or A sharp minor. You want the eighth fret on the D, and then on the first, with your first finger, bar the sixth fret on the G, B, and the E. With this third finger, I'm going to go ahead and touch string five to mute it, in case I accidentally touch it. All right. So clarity is number one importance here. So we're going to play it as an arpeggio first. And I uh, I have a auto wah on my amp so if you have a wah pedal you can manually do it um, but this kind of copies that so now if you got the clarity I'll show you the second chord and it's pinky 9D and it's just like going down steps third finger 8G middle finger 7B index 6E. You can do it like that or you can kind of leave the bar there and just adjust these accordingly. But let's check all four of those. We're good. So let's back up. It's one of the two chords, okay? <clears throat> That's a major seven chord. Um, B major seven. Here is what's the, the, where the right hand comes in and getting the right feel being important. It's down, up, down. And right after that up, down, you want to karate chop it. <laughs> Bring this hand down to kill all the notes. You gotta go back anyways, right? Because we're gonna play something else, so. But don't go. Okay, it's staccato on the, on the end, not on the first drum. That rings out. Then, two staccato hits, and that's the strings four through one, D, G, B, and E. So we have, that's your strum pattern. If you can get that, I'm going to tap my foot with this. If you get that, then your right hand is going to be good. You just apply that to each chord. Now, when you go to this chord, um, you may want to try to use your pinky to mute the A as well. I know it's going to be probably a difficult chord at first, so maybe add that later, but do be aware of that. In case you accidentally hit that A string when you're strumming, um, it'll be muted. Chances are you won't hit low E, right? So we don't have to worry about that. So here we go. That's applied. That's all you got to do. it so that goes 13 times until you hit a minute seven in the song and then we got section 1b this is just a percussive same beat over a root note thing fret eight on the d down up down 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 same beat same thing over the ninth fret d You hear I get in and out really quick, right? Da 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 staccato choppy. All right, that goes six times. One time is this. Now, when I go for staccato, half the time I will achieve it by bringing this hand back down and also relieving the pressure off the note a little bit. You don't have to do both. That's just right hand. 
But over the years, stuff like that, I may lift a little, off a little bit. And believe it or not, that's it. So less is more sometimes. We, we say that in music, and this is a prime example. Um, a guitar player could listen to this and go, what, there's no guitar in this, or it's just too simple. Not really. This is more about, you know, if you can play the chords, cool. But can you get the percussiveness of it, the, the feel, the groove? You don't hear that in rock metal, the R&B funk thing. 